Now, I don't feel sorry for somebody when I see this. This is the third one I've seen this morning. Okay, I've seen three of these this morning already. One of them was a really nice BMW spun out on the airport property. I can guarantee you he was following too close. But I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sad. I don't go, oh, I hope they're okay. In fact, I wish they would go to jail for a day. Okay, I don't feel sorry for this. Because this person, it's only one of three things or all three things, a combination of these three things. Either you don't have snow tires, you're overly confident, self-righteous, arrogant. I say put your hands on 10 and 2 in the fear of God in your heart. But overly confident, arrogant, self-righteous. Or three, you're following too close. And it's only those three things. So it's not an accident. It's a conscious decision to drive recklessly. Now you can see the tracks going across here. Now if that person, because they were either driving with no snow tires, which is attempted manslaughter, or driving arrogantly over the confident with no humility, no fear at all, or following too close and what happens is you're following too close so then you got to slam on your brakes and swerve to avoid hitting somebody and then you lose control and you spin out this here could have caused a huge disaster it could have taken somebody out could have been your mom your wife your daughter your father your grandpa somebody else because this person chooses to either not have snow tires, overly confident, arrogant, self-righteous, narcissist, or following too close, or a combination of those three. And that's it. But this here, I don't feel sorry. I don't feel sorry when I see this. Because it's only those three things, which is a conscious decision. It's not an accident. But if this person spins out in front of you and sends you to the hospital or makes you late for work or causes you to miss your flight or if somebody's in labor and they're got right because of this person either overly confident no snow tires or following too close and most of the time it's following too close i can almost guarantee you the one at the airport that was spun out in the very same situation except in a ditch. I guarantee you he was following too close, plowing him down the road, get out of my way, following too close, and then had to swerve and slam on his brakes and that's what caused him to spin out on the airport property. How are you? <laughs> my goodness, guys. I do not feel bad. It's either overly confident, it's not having tires, and it's following too close, which is not an accident. If you're following too close, that's a conscious decision to drive recklessly, which is attempted manslaughter. And when you do this, spinning out and hurting someone else because of your actions, you deserve jail time. I don't feel sorry. Get tires, be humble, and do not tailgate.